everything. Come on. I'm for crying out loud. Morning. Is everything okay? Um, have you got a moment to talk in private? It's important. What I don't understand is why you're only telling me this now. Honestly, I never thought that she'd actually go through with it and, and, and make a complaint. What did the HR manager at St Phil's actually say? Said that I... that I was suspended from midwifery duties. So they are taking the complaint to the NMC? Yeah. I just don't know what to say. I, I feel such an idiot. I, I am so sorry. We will cross lines, rumour. Thank you. It just it feels so harsh. I mean, I know I'm. I know it was wrong. Okay, look, whatever the rights and wrongs of this, I think you should just carry on here as usual. Great, thank you, thank you. I will talk to Daniel. I will fill him in, and then we will make some calls. Yes. See if we can establish how the land lies with this. Great. Thank you, thank you, Sarah. It's not like it's costing you any. Corey Jaywick. Corey. 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 What? Do you have a parent here? Outside. Well, I've had enough for us. He's doing my head in. Mrs. Jaywick. No, it can't wait. Why have I always got to deal with everything? Why don't you get up off your butt and do something about it, then? Look, my next appointment is waiting, so... All right, and the same to you, then. But are you ready? Because I've been waiting ages. And I tell you what, I have got zero patience left. There's nothing wrong with him. I'm sorry? Corey, it's the only reason I'm here is so that you can tell him that. Stop him messing about. So shall we get this over and done with, then? Because I am shattered and I've been hanging around long enough. Oi! Come on! Well, my temperature is fine and you don't seem dehydrated. So, is the tummy pain all the time? Just when he doesn't fancy doing what he's told. Mm. And it hurts here. And is it sharp or more of a constant pain? Both. You're a constant pain. But Mrs J. Wick, if you could just let Corey... Oh, for so. crying out loud, please, Corey, will you just stop messing about? I'm not. It really hurts. OK, well, it isn't anything obvious, but we need to rule out all possibilities. Such as? Indigestion, constipation, gastroenteritis, or maybe even a food intolerance. You're all right. It's fine. There's nothing wrong with him. We're done. Come on, Corey. Uh, Mrs Jamie, I haven't finished. I have. I can't help Corey if you won't let me. I'm not going to ask you twice, could I? Look, perhaps if you would let Corey speak for himself. Perhaps if you could keep your nose out. <laughs> yes? Daniel. Oh, of course, I'll, I'll be right through. Is this bad news, Daniel, because... I think we should just wait. <laughs> OK. So, we've spoken with our legal advisers, mm -hmm. uh, and their position was pretty clear. I'm afraid they've recommended that we support St Phil's decision, for now, and that it would be best that you went home. You're joking, because... Our hands are tied. I'm sorry. Who's...? What was she thinking? I mean, it's just so out of character. I suppose you... I did. Keep coming. Thanks for getting together so quickly. 
This won't take long. Uh, we just needed to let you know that rumour uh, won't be in work for the foreseeable future. She's been suspended. What? From her midwifery duties here and at St Phil's. So, while she's gone, we will obviously all need to pull together to cover any gaps. Zara and I will let you know as soon as possible how we plan to reallocate her patients. I don't believe it's suspended. I'm afraid so. But there must be some mistake, surely. What's she meant to have done? Uh, we can't discuss that at this moment. That's seriously all you're going to tell us? Yes. I'm sorry, but we just need to offer all the support we can at this difficult time. And that means shutting down any pointless gossip or speculation. OK, let's get back to it. Why was she looking at me? No, I think it was me. No, she was looking at me. Mm. Uh, Mr. Conn, sorry to keep you waiting. Please come through. Hello again. Anything I can help with? I wasn't lying. Still really hurts. You come out of one of those things you said before. Have you come back on your own? My mum's really tired. Corey, it's best if one of your parents comes in with you. What, what if I've got, like, a virus? What makes you think that? I saw this film once, right? It was a true story. And these, like, alien creatures, like, grow inside people. It starts with a stomach ache, and you start to, like, feel sick. And then they just start ripping out of you. Look, I can assure you that whatever you have, it is not alien-related. How would you know unless you cut me open? Because I'm a doctor and I know everything there is to know about the human body. Hopefully. OK, bye. Incoming. Outgoing. Oh, since when have you been running a breakfast club? Turns out his stomach pains were hunger. School holidays. His father. Yes, come in. Uh, Mr. J. Wick's here to see you. Oh, and uh, Bear asked if you'd pop into his office when you're ready. Okay, thanks. Shall I show him in? Uh, all right. Um, so it's okay, Valerie. Thank you. Do take a seat, Mr. J. Wick. Do you know what? I've just finished a long night shift, and I need to go home and lie down. So can we just get this sorted? Of course. It's Corey that I have a concern about. Tell me about it. What's he done now? It's his health that I'm concerned about. He was still complaining of stomach aches, so I gave him a bit of toast and... Hi, Mona. I see where this is going. Sorry, what do you mean? One look at our address and you're on the phone to a flipping social worker. We're good parents, all right? Look, I'm sure you are, but the fact... And remains... Corey's well looked after. I mean, sometimes he doesn't listen or care, so he might get the odd slap just now and again, just to keep him in line. Oh, what? Here we go. What? You got kids? What, you're really telling me you've never lost it? And giving one of them a little slap, eh? Yeah? Right. Where's Corey? He's in the staff room. If you would like to follow me, Mr. Jaywick. Corey. Oh, he was here. Oh, great. I told him to wait. Well, why weren't you with him? Because I had to call oh, you uh, and... Forget it. Thanks for nothing. Because I had to call oh, you uh, and... Forget it. Thanks for nothing. It would have been helpful if Rumi had talked to us sooner, given us a bit of warning. I guess she was just hoping it would all go away. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, yeah, we should look at the best way forward. Yeah. I've been calling around everywhere requesting a local midwife, but so far, no luck. I'm not surprised. There's a real shortage. So we'll just have to look at our schedules and share the load, make it as fair as possible. Yeah. Sorry, guys, but I don't see any other choice. Agreed. We will have to draw a line, though. We can cover antenatal appointments, but not home visits. Yeah, definitely not home births. We don't have the resources. Sure. I'll liaise with St Phil's, and hopefully she'll be back sooner rather than later. 
And if she isn't? Let's not go there. Yeah, um, we'll just cross that bridge. Yeah, thanks. Yes, but I really do need to speak to you. Why? Well, as I tried to say earlier, I do have some serious concerns about Corey, and I... Yeah, fine. Well, this is a surprise. I lost my phone. I just came back to look for it. Don't panic. Why did you disappear earlier? Your father came all the way in. Sorry, I just needed to kick up a force. Is this a torch? You shine it in people's eyes. Can you see right into the brain in that? It's not quite that powerful. It's so cool. Doctor Who's got one like this, hasn't she? Sorry to interrupt, but this young man's parents are waiting in reception. I'm not stopping around for a flipping lecture. Fine, we'll just get Corey and go. But I'm sorry, could you please wait in reception like I told you? What the hell are you playing at, Corey? Excuse me, could you please... I am talking to my son. It's OK. I, I need to speak to them anyway. Thank you both for coming back in. You can't just walk out like that without a word. It was hurting and you were sleeping. Corey. This is Jaywick. Right, we're sorted. Come on, out, now. I think I've diagnosed your son's problem. You what? Well, what problem? What, well, you're saying there's something wrong with him? Well, nothing that a few plates of toast couldn't cure. The stomach ache. It was just hunger. Here we go. I told you. Are you accusing me of, of not looking after my son? I'm not accusing you of anything. It sounds like it. I'm just saying they did seem very hungry. Kids are always hungry. You have no idea how hard it is. One bill on top of the other and... money's just so tight. So you haven't enough for food? I'm only asking because if you're having difficulty managing, there are ways that we can explore to find some help. Mum? I'm so sorry. It's OK, Mum. Hey, it's all right, love. It's OK. Yeah, I'm all right now. I'm so sorry. I've tried my best. Hey, it's not your fault. But I've made a mess of everything. I'm, I'm feeling ashamed. Hey. <laughs> The cleaning company sacked me a couple of months ago and then they took me back on, but on zero hours. Minimum wage. I see. And now my hours are all over the place and I'm never at home when Corey is. But if I don't take the hours, the work stops. That must be tough. Yeah, I'm on late and early at the factory. And long hours, two wages, and it's still not enough. So Corey has been going without meals? School holidays, isn't it? Normally I have dinners and breakfast club and after school. Of course. Do you not have any family who can help? <laughs> or could you possibly swap shifts? My factory's already cut his hours, so I'm taking all I can get. Well... Maybe... This could help, but I think the church organised it. What is it? Food bank. That's how you see us, isn't it? Just a sad charity case. No, and there's, there's absolutely no shame in it. How dare you look down on us? We have never taken a handout from anyone, and we never will. I just thought. No, I know exactly what you thought, and you can stick it. Donna. Come on, let's just go. I'm honestly not making any judgement. You judged us before we even came in this room. I know exactly what people around here think of us. And you know what, Doctor? I don't give a damn. Come on, Corey. Bye, Corey. Just in case, yeah?
ਚਲੇ